straight off of his debut from CES where he made a huge splash. Some of the little sizzles we just saw, people talking about him, over 185 articles written about him. Isn't he cute? Yeah. So he's all about problem solving and critical thinking and sequencing, which are really great skills to take forward, but we do it with really active, fun, hands-on play. So the way our Coda Pillar works is he has eight individual segments. We only have seven here because he would run off the table right now if we put all eight of them. So one more at the end is the way he will come. And a motorized head. And the way that kids play... Yeah. Oh, he's very excited. He wants to talk to you. Yeah. Isn't he cute? He responds to talk? Yes, absolutely. He's like a really great friend, the preschoolers. And the way that we play is that each one of these little segments comes apart in a very techy, fun way. Little USB ports, you can see right there. That's really cool. And on top, these little icons are actually directionals. They tell you which way you're programming or sequencing your protocoler. For example, we put one to start with, that's a left-hand turn, a left-hand turn, then a straightaway, and then perhaps some music. That's just a choice I made right there. So let me show you how we play. I've got two of them set up, and they may show off and dance a little bit for you up here. Now wake them up. Good morning. Great. You can tell that they are actually coming to life and reading the code because they start to flash and jibber jabber a little bit. And then they're off on their way, and they are reading the code, the sequence that we put together. And you can actually tell what part of the sequence they're working on because that particular part starts to flash. That is really cool. Look, he's meeting his buddy in the middle. That's so sweet. So if you have two, they're going to interact with each other or not necessarily? You know, it looks like it because they're talking to one another. I think they're doing it rather independently. Oh, okay. But you could have a lot of fun if you had two. Absolutely. For sure. You can also mix and match the pieces between the Coda pillars. So if you had two, you could take any of these eight pieces and make them with, eight, with those eight pieces. So you can mix and match. We also have expansion packs. So we have expansion packs that really, uh, well, Bethel, don't let me steal your thunder. So. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we're just about to talk about that. It's all, it's, we're sharing the same news. So, so those three expansion packs that we're going to be offering, um, there's a pro pack, there's a play pack, and there's a basic pack. And the pro pack adds more complication and critical thinking, like sharper turns, uh, repeat segments that would re make you repeat the entire sequence. Our oh. fun pack has things that add to his personality, like there's a little segment that makes him go to sleep and take a little nap. <laughs> there's a, a segment that puts on a light show, and there's also additional music. And then our basic pack adds more right turns, left turns, straightaways for music. So um, those are some great features with our little friend here. We also have another way to play. As the child develops, gets uh, a little more savvy with this, they're going to start to see the cause and effect. So we included two little startup discs, a little starting line and a little finish line. And the idea is as the child figures out, oh, I'm actually controlling this, I, I can create possibilities here. You can actually try to get him from point A to point B. And that's where the critical thinking and problem solving comes in, right? So that is our Coda Pillar. He's going to have his own little commercial out this fall. He's going to be a big star. Awesome. And what's the price point on Coda Pillar? $49.99. That's, that's really great for the play value.